Hey, what's up guys? This is Narendra back with the another video series. And in this video, we are going to build a complete authentication application using Node Express, REST APIs. We'll be also dealing with the features like password, password reset links, email verification, and let's go ahead and get started. So I have opened my terminal and currently I'm in my projects directory and I'm going to create a new folder. So for that mkdir auth app, and I'll get into that folder auth app. Actually, it will be cd auth app. So now if I ls, this is completely empty directory and we have just created it. And I am using Node.js, so Node dash dash version. If I check, currently I'm using version 14.15.3. So I'm gonna create a new Node.js project and for that npm init dash y. And this will create a packet.json file inside this directory. You can see, wrote this packet.json file with these credentials. And now if I ls, we can see that package.json file is created inside the directory. So I'm going to install a couple of dependencies. So npm i express, because we are going to spin up a simple express server. For that, we need express. Then we will be using MongoDB as a database. So we are simply using MongoDB, actually Mongoose package. Then we'll be dealing with a lot of JSON data. So for that, we are going to use body parser middleware. And we will be making a lot of cross origin requests. So for that, we are going to use course. Then for logging and stuff like that, I prefer consola package over normal console log statements. So consola, so it's a nice package by Vue.js and Nux team. And also we will be using json web tokens so for that we'll be using package called json web token and we will be creating using passport in order to create some kind of strategy to protect our route so for that passport and also passport jwt package then we'll be using so we'll be needing something to hash our password and for that we have a library called bcrypt.js so we'll be using that dot env to pull up environment variables we'll be needing this dot env package and esm to write es6 format in our normal es5 node.js application and also we'll be creating some kind of express validation so express validator is another package that we'll be installing and with that all set i think we are good to go with our application if we come up that will be needing we will install that at on the fly so let's press enter and this might take a moment to install all these packages and now you can see these packages have been installed and if i ls you can see there's a node modules folder created and also package log json file is also created and packet.json file is kind of updated which i'll show in a while so if i open this in visual studio code for that i'll write code period and as i do this this will open that in a visual studio code let me open that in a new window so i'm going to constantly switch back and forth in the windows so let's go and do something else i'll be using another thing called postman if you haven't installed it you can get it from postman.com and you can download and install it installation is pretty straightforward so all three terminals are open and here we have my browser also open so then i want to go i want you to go and go to this app called sendgrid and on this create it create a free account and get into the settings section api keys and create api and i'm gonna go to the restricted access in mail send complete it check that up and also i think api key read access and that's it and you have to provide a name for that api key so i'm gonna say tutorial key and let me create that and i have to quickly copy this thing and once i'm done i'm just gonna put that done 
so you can see my api tutorial is registered and that credential i cannot see any longer so inside my root of this application i'm going to create a file called env and another file called env dot example so send grid api and i pasted my api over there then we will define application constants over here so app port in local we'll be using 5000 app db i'm using docker build db so if you are using mongodb cluster you can put the mongodb url uri whatever you get from there just put it over there but i'm using mongo db local host version so i'm going to use that local host and it is mapped on 27017 port and after that you have to specify the name of the database so i'm going to simply say auth app tutorial so these are the two constants that i have and also app domain which will be for now http local host and 5000 so this is an app domain for us and also app secret so these are the couple of constant that we are going to use in our app and let me copy everything from here and put that inside dot example file and let me get rid of everything so this file will be pushed on the github repository and you just have to fill in your credentials over there it will work just fine for you so now once we are done now we need to go to the packet.json file so here we can see in the dependencies section we have whatever de dependency we installed just now using node package manager that is npm all are listed over here and also inside the node modules folder all those packages has been put in so at the time whenever we want you can put that so for the license i'm going to put mit and author i'm going to put my name you can put yours and i'm going to get rid of this test script instead i'm going to put start script and we'll simply say node esm dash r actually dash r esm and inside this main you can see index.js file so it will be automatically looking for the index.js file inside this root of the application so this esm will give us superpower to use es6 syntax to write es6 code instead of normal require statements we can use import statement and a lot of stuff like that but under the hood it will be normal es5 so it will be making our life hell lot easier then for the development script i'm will be using nodemon and if you haven't installed nodemon you can simply install that using writing sudo npm install dash g nodemon but i have already installed it so i no longer need that and if i check that nodemon dash dash version currently i'm using version 2.0.7 so here i will be running this development script using nodemon so for that nodemon dash r esm and dot so these are the two script that we have and let me close that so inside this root of the application i'm going to create index.js file and also going to create src so we are going to import src from src and that's all we need inside this root file but if we have brought in this index.src it will automatically look for index.js file from the src directory so let me go and create dot index.js file and now this file will be automatically picked up so let's test that out console.log hello world and let's save that and let's run this application over here inside this terminal so npm run dev and now you can see that hello world code is printed this hello world was written inside this src and this main script is pulling out this one and in this we have imported this file so it is automatically running there and meanwhile you can also notice this it is also looking for watching for the path changes so inside this route if anything is changed it will automatically respin up our server so that's how we deal with this nodemon thing so 
let's go ahead and create project clean project structure because following a structure inside a project gives a clear idea how the application is working and instead of writing a lot of spagatic code which often confuses other developers while reading and understanding that code so clean code is another kind of trend which is going on in the industry if you are following that trends that means you will be easily able to explain your code to other developers that's how we are getting and we also got a lot of feedback from a lot of industry mentors they were saying we are getting a lot of code but a lot of people don't even know what they are writing so that's how you should manage your projects and that's what i wanted to say meanwhile before starting anything i want to initialize github repository over here so for that git in it and you can see git repository has been initialized which is empty so I'm going to create another file inside this root of the application using this integrated terminal. And for that touch dot git ignore and inside this git ignore file. I want to get rid of this dot env file not to be pushed, not to be tracked in the git branches. So for that env and as I save it, you can see this is no longer in green. Same. I don't want to push this node modules also onto the server modules and if i save it now node modules is also no longer in green so for now this is two things which i wanted to remove and let me go ahead go to the browser and go to my github account repositories and new repository complete user auth tutorial so I'll be mentioning this repository link inside the description and all the lessons will be in a lesson by lesson. So complete user authentication, verify email, reset password. And that's all we need for now. Play list. And I'm going to make this repository public. So let me create that. And now we have already initialized that git. So we need to add them. So git add all. Git status. If I check, we have these many files to be tracked. Git commit dash m. Lesson one. And now you can see we are getting six file change to be inserted. Git remote add origin. And we'll add this origin that we just got from here. So I'm going to copy that. Paste it. Press enter and then get push. Origin master. And now you can see everything is refreshed. So now this repository is over there and I'm going to create a lesson and this postman is irritating a lot. Move this aside. For now, we'll be working with the terminal and code. So let's go ahead and start working with our project structure. So inside this SRC, I'm going to create a folder called middle where's so all the application middlewares will be going inside this one. Constants. So all the application constants that we are we have defined inside this dot env will be pulled in from this one. Then all the models of the application will go inside this one. And then we have a new folder called functions. So all the specific functions related to the user or whatever the things you want to, you can put it inside this functions directory. Then we have a routes. Or oh, let me put that APIs. So all the APIs will be going inside this APIs directory. And I think anything is left. Yeah, one more folder, which is validators. Since we are going to validate our incoming data, so all the validations rules will be inside this one. So that's it for this video. In the next video, we'll start setting up our Express application and we will be done with our user model. So 
if you like this video just hit the like button subscribe comment share and guys these things only matter to us a lot these things keep on pushing us to create more content so thank you guys hope i see you guys in the next video